up YouTube just out here doing some work in the shop again tonight uh, I got the Raptor and the Banshee out and gonna be doing a little bit of work on the Raptor uh, swing arm bearings got the Vito's bearing and seal kit here these are the new needle bearings and the new seals and we got some grease so I'll show you guys in a minute here when I set the tripod up exactly why it needs a swing arm bearing but basically you know if you take the quad and you kind of rock it side to side um, while you're standing on the quad you'll feel kind of a little bit of play usually down in this area right here this is where you'll feel it right there so this bolt right here that bolt right there goes through the swing arm I'm not sure if you can see here let me turn on the light so this bolt right here goes through the swing arm comes out the other side there's bearings inside of the swing arm here that's how the swing arm you know it pivots on this bolt that's how the suspension plate you know the sh shocks here that's how it, it's allowed to go up and down it's kind of like a giant hinge so this bolt right here is the inside of the hinge and inside of here is a bearing and the needles can you know they can wear out dry up and wear out and then eventually they go bad so what I need to do is jack the whole quad up, pull those uh, old bearings out and replace them. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it can be a real pain. It just kind of depends on how bad they're stuck in there. And I also have some uh, ATV oil here, four stroke oil. I'm gonna change the oil today while I get a chance. It's um, k and air filter, or I mean oil filter here to go with it. And just in case you're wanting to buy the same one I use, I use a k and 145 Looks like it was about $9. I believe I got that at Cycle Gear in Reading. Um, this is 10W40. Four stroke oil, I got that at AutoZone, I believe. AutoZone in Reading. So, 10W, two quarts of 10W40, one KNN, KN 145, and then these are the swing arm bearings. This is a Vito's Performance Racing uh, swing arm bearing kit. Again, this is for the front swing arm bearing, uh, up kind of in the front, it's just behind the sprocket there. Uh, there's a bolt that goes all the way through. Uh, your swing arm it basically holds your swing arm to the frame so it can kind of pivot like a hinge there and there are bearings inside of here when those bearings go bad um, you can kind of rock the quad side to side as they get worse you know as those needle bearings all fall out uh, you'll see slop here you'll see it here and here as you lift up and down as you kind of rock your body from side to side on the pegs you'll see slop there and it'll eventually destroy the inside of that if you don't replace those bearings where that bolt goes all the way through it comes over on this side and you can see how the seal is already kind of popped out on that one so that's probably what happened you know on that side the seal went bad or, or smashed out like that and water and mud gets in there and it just destroys that little uh, bearing in there with all the little needles in it, little needle bearings. So that's today's mission is to try and get that bolt out, get this whole swing arm off of here, um, knock those bearings out and then gently try and tap or press some in there. Uh, this is the other side of the swing arm. This is where the nut that I need to get off is. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put some lube on this now. And this is that bearing I was showing you. It's inside of here. So this nut goes through and that holds the whole swing arm onto the quad. Um, this will go out if you run really big oversized tires like I'm running the 22 inch bear claws. They're just super aggressive and heavy. Uh, oftentimes you'll see the bearings in your swing arm back here in the carrier. The axle bearings will go bad and you'll, you'll have kind of the same thing. You can rock the quad side to side. Surprisingly, uh, these ones are actually still good back here. So these I'm not going to probably change today. 
unless I take the axle out and it looks like they're really bad, then I might change them, but they feel nice and tight right now. Um, the main thing and the parts I have to do today are this front one. Uh, if they go real bad and you don't take care of them, they can get stuck in there, or like I said, it can start to really eat into the swing arm itself, and that's bad because then you have to buy a whole new swing arm. So anyhow, uh, yeah, so Raptor 700 swing arm bearing replacement, and I'll probably also be doing the oil filter. I'll just give you guys a quick uh, video on that. I'm not sure if I'll include it in this video, depending on how long it is, but I'll go ahead and change the oil out and uh, change the oil filter out, change the swing arm bearing, give this Raptor a little bit of love. It's pretty dirty. We've been riding it pretty hard. Um, haven't really washed it or changed the oil in a while. We took it out a few times. You know, the time when the, when the wheel fell off because of the loose hub, uh, you know, and then after that a couple of times and we haven't changed the oil or, or cleaned the air filter or anything like that since. So it is due for some maintenance. Um, I'll probably also take my grease gun and just do all the Zerk fittings up front to make sure that the A-arms in the front are uh, well lubricated. Um, you don't usually have to do very much other than just kind of keep the air pressure even in the front. <clears throat> and then also, you know, here's some Zerk fittings on these aftermarket, all the A-arms. Uh, the Zerk fittings, obviously they could use a, a, some grease and then that pushes grease out through the dust caps and, um, you know, just gives it some fresh lube in there. So uh, that's something I'll probably also be doing is just hitting those front Zerk fittings um, with some grease. Uh, these are not greasable ball joints, so there's really nothing I can do with those. Um, some of the ones do have greasable ball joints, but these do not, so those won't be able to. Also got the Banshee sitting over here. It's gonna be next in line to be worked on. Uh, I have the YFZ450 light bar, but uh, this little mystery box right here, the Banshee mystery box, it's got something pretty special inside. I can't wait to get it installed. I'm not gonna give it away yet. I'm not gonna give it away yet, but inside that little box, I'm not gonna give it away yet. But inside that little mystery box is something pretty cool. Something for the Banshee that I have not tried before. And I'm really excited about it. So, Banshee mystery box, what do you guys think is in there? Leave it in a comment below. What's in the box? And then over here, you know, I'm just going to be doing the Raptor swing arm bearings like I talked about. First thing I'm going to try and do is uh, get the quad jacked up so that I can remove the swing arm without the whole thing falling backwards. Uh, get a stand underneath it and start working on it. Here we go. All right, quick update here. I just threw this little uh, workbench together, just something to kind of prop the quad up with. I've been using the motorcycle stand, which, you know, it works. It's just a little tippy. Um, I just wanted to build something that was a little more stable. It's also going to be helpful for when I'm working on my new F250. I don't know if I told you guys yet, but I got this new to me uh, F250 uh, back here in the back. Uh, I've had the F150 in the past, and you know, like I gave you guys the update uh, yesterday or the day before that, I forget which one it was, but we did the toy hauler update, and you guys saw that. And uh, you know, the F150, it could tow it, it's just not really rated for it. So decided to upgrade to something a little bit bigger uh, not sure if I mentioned it to you guys yet but this is a 1997 f-250 power stroke turbo diesel and uh, got the f-150 for sale over there uh, all right got the uh, Raptor up on the stand that I just made a new little 2x4 2x6 stand got it up off the ground so I can pull that swing arm off get those new bearings in there uh, yeah you can see it's just a couple inches off the ground nice little stand of <laughs> 